Hey there, it's Seb Fry here with another exciting episode of It's a Seb Show. Hey, you see I got my sunnies on today. It's because today is 420. That's right, you should all be just chilling out, relaxing, doing not much at your houses. I don't know about you, but that's exactly what I have planned to do today. Just sit around and do a whole lot of nothing. You know, uh, it's interesting. Uh, I don't know about you, but I get all these emails all the time, actually like maybe five or ten a day, where people are inviting me to come on to a, a webinar or a Zoom conference or a Google Hangout or something and talk about how you can take best advantage of this time when we are all sheltering in place, right? Like, hey, here's your strategy, how to like take advantage of this or, you know, uh, achieve some huge spectacular result while you're locked away in this house. And uh, when this whole thing first started up, uh, you know, like a month ago or whatever, uh, the shelter in place thing, you know, uh, I went on a few of those and and I was also watching a whole bunch of people like making predictions for like what the world is going to be like when the shelter in place thing is over and what it means for the economy and, you know, uh, homeowners and consumers and unemployment and the economy and all this and uh here is what I have come to conclude. I have come to conclude that uh, nobody knows nothing, right? I mean, like, we don't really have much in the way of historical precedent uh, to look at this. You know, I mean, like, uh, I don't think we can look too far to, like, other countries which have had similar uh, problems, uh, you know, 10, 20 years ago uh, and to see how they came through it. Why? Because, uh, you know, the situations are not identical. I don't think that we can draw the same conclusions from what happened in some country far off, uh, you know, across the world, you know, 10 or 20 years ago to guide us for what's going to happen today. So really, uh, nobody knows what's going on. And I had not spent a lot of time telling people uh, what I think is going to happen, other than I did say famously at the beginning of this, that I don't believe this is the zombie apocalypse. I don't believe this is the event which is going to destroy forever the uh, California real estate market. I don't think that. I still don't think that. I don't know what it's going to mean. Will prices go down in real estate? Uh, I don't know. Will there be more homes for sale? I don't know. Will there be fewer buyers out there? I don't know. I, I don't know. In fact, nobody knows. People can make predictions, but uh, that's all they are. It's basically, is you might as well just take a, some, a die. You throw, throw some dice or you know pick a card, a tarot card, and say that's what's going to happen in the future because... Nobody really knows. There's just too many variables out there. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the future holds. And in fact, it's just so uncertain that I really have a hard time making any plans around that. I don't know about you, but like I can't really be focusing too much um, in what the market and the real estate world is going to be like or, or the economy or my life or my community, my my country, my state. I have no idea what it's going to be like in a month or six weeks, or two weeks, or whenever it is, the shelter in place will begin to be gradually lifted and we can begin to get back to work. So I really don't know what to tell anybody because I don't know, and you don't know, and in fact, nobody knows, and anybody who's telling you no probably has something they want to sell you. That's the thing, all these webinars I get, it's everyone's trying to sell me something, right? Some kind of like silver bullet or like prescription or like some kind of formula for success coming out of this. And um, you know what? It's all a crapshoot. Um, so no, I'm not doing anything. And you know, a funny thing is, is have you heard this before that the time that is required to complete a task expands to the amount of time which is available for that task? Have you heard that? Probably you have, and probably someone has said it a different way. But that's part of my problem. I'm not getting anything done because I have an infinite amount of time to do anything that I want to do. Um, and so if like, well, I wanted to uh, put out a second edition of my book, for example, I could be doing that. That'd be a great thing to be doing, but I haven't really started it at all because I have an unknown amount of time to do it. And there's no real great pressing need to do any of that, right? I mean, like there's all kinds of things I could be doing, but I'm not doing, you know what I'm doing? I'm focusing on the here and now, the present, which basically is my family and I, and, um, you know, uh, our time in our little bubble right here. I'm just focusing inward, not outward, because that is really the only thing that I can control right now. So, um, listen, I hope that you guys are doing okay. You know, this is some really rough stuff. I've, uh, I've seen so many, you know, sad tales, um, from people's lives that they've been sharing on social media and it is heartbreaking you know and a lot of people are being very badly hurt by this um and my heart goes out to them 
Um, and I hope that uh, we all come out of this uh, stronger and better somehow uh, at the end of all of this. And uh, I really think that we will. I don't know why I think that because I'm an optimist. I have to be in the real estate business. Got to be an optimist because if you're not, uh, this business will crush you and you'll soon be out. So uh, I'm hoping for the best. I think it will be okay. Just my instinct telling me that. Don't have any facts or data that backs that up, but uh, that's where I'm coming from. So uh, I hope that you guys are doing okay and that, um, you know, uh, that everyone in your family is safe and healthy and um, as happy as they can be given these strange, bizarre, and challenging times. All right, that is it for this episode of It's a Seb Show. Thank you so much for watching. I would love a comment from you right here on the webpage. Uh, on the YouTube video or whatever, telling me how you are doing in the in this time. Do you think we're going to be okay coming out of this? Do you think it's going to be a total disaster? Do you think it is a zombie apocalypse? I'd love to know uh, your feelings about that. All right, that is it for this episode of It's a Seb Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll have another episode up again one of these days.